Hi, I'm Lily. Today I'm going to read you the story Tina Put Your Helmet On. Happy Readers Level 6. Tina Put Your Helmet On. Let's read it. Mom, can Melissa and Jane come over after school on Thursday? asked Tina. Tina's mom was surprised. Are you friends with those girls? she asked. They were mean to you, remember? Yes, but that was a long time ago, replied Tina. They are much nicer to me now, and they're really cool. They know about fashion, music, filmsters, and all that stuff. Well, okay, said her mother, but you're cool to remember that. On Thursday, Tina took Melissa and Jane to her flat after school. The three girls had a snack and then went to Tina's bedroom. Let's get changed, said Melissa. She put on a bright pink top and... She and some new jeans. Wow, I like your top, ex exclaimed Tina. Jane put on a yellow shirt, a blue skirt, and some gray leggings. You look so cool, said Tina. She put on her old jeans and a t-shirt. After school on Friday, Tina and her brothers wanted to ride their bikes. Can we cycle to the park? asked Sandy. Okay, replied their father, but you must wear your helmet and ride on the cycle path. It's a rule, if, and it's for your own safety. Oh, come on, Dad. I don't like my ha helmet. My hair gets messy, complained Tina. Well, if you have an accident, you might get badly hurt. Well, so put it so put it on, please, said their father. The children circled to the park. It was a lovely day, and Tina soon forgot about her helmet. At the park, she was pleased to see Melissa and Jane. Hey, Tina called to her classmates. Thanks for coming to my place yesterday. The two girls looked at each other and then looked at Tina again. What's, what's that thing on your head? Asked Mel said Melissa. You look so stupid. I have to wear it, whis whispered Tina. My dad said so. She started to ride away sadly. Well, your dad isn't here now, said Jay. Come back here and take it off. You look really silly. She turned around. She was confused. The girls were so cool, and she wanted to be their friend. She tried to explain, but my dad will be angry if... What's more important, your cool friends or your boring old dad? asked Melissa. Tina's face turned red. She slowly took off her helmet. Look at your messy hair, laughed Melissa. Or, or afternoon, the children circled around, round and round the park. At five o'clock, they were all tired, and Tina, Andy, and Mark went home. But, but before they reached the flat, Tina put her helmet back on her head. Don't tell Dad, she warned her brothers. At that time, Mark whispered to his mother, I know a secret. Can you share it with me? She asked. Tina didn't wear her helmet at the park, said Tina. But don't tell Dad. That evening, when the children were asleep, Tina's mom, Tina's mother and father had a chat. I'm worried about Tina, said her mother. She's friends with Melissa and Jane again. Do you remember those cigars? They tried to damage Tina's notebook at camp. Oh, yes, replied the father. And tonight, Mark, her to Mark, Mark told me a secret, continued Tina's mother. Tina took off her helmet at the park today. Those cigars probably laughed at her. Tina's fathers were annoyed now. Really? He said. That's a problem. On Saturday morning, Tina's father had a surprise. Tina's father had a surprise for her. Tina, put your shoes on. You're going out, he said. Okay, replied Tina. But why are you taking me out without Andy and Mark? And and where exactly are we going? You will see, said her mother. With said her father with a smile. Five minutes later, they went outside and stood by the road. Taxi, called Tina's father. Soon they arrived at the science museum. I came here last year, said Tina, a little disappointed. Well, today we're going to watch a 3D space film, said her father. He handed her 3D glasses. Wow, replied Tina. When the film ended, Tina said, I want to be an astronaut, Dad. Do you think you could wear a spacesuit? Yes. Sure, she replied happily. Where are we going now? Asked Tina to the hospital, said her dad. 
but I'm not sick, said Tina, a hospital day met Sarah. She was a doctor like Tina's father, but she was friendly. And she was very friendly. Hello, Tina, she said. Welcome to my workplace, the operating theater. Look, we wash our hands and put on our pretty clothes here. We wear a gown, a face mask, gloves, and a cap. They are all very important. Tina looked around the room. Everything was bright and clean. That's amazing, said Tina. Outside the hospital, doctors are even cooler than the astronauts. I can be. I want to be one too. And wear all those clothes. Laughed her father. No problem, said Tina. Where are we going now, Daddy? Well, I'm hungry, he replied. Are you? They went to a French restaurant for lunch, and Tina got another surprise. The chef looks like Belle Stud. She says, "Belle, Belle is in my class." Yes, it's him. yes, it's him. Enjoy your meals, Tina said. Belle's father. He gave her a white jacket and tall chef hat. Please put this on after lunch. You're going to have a tour on the kitchen. Tina enjoyed wearing the chef's coat. The tour of the kitchen was fun, and lunch was delicious too. Maybe I can be a chef when I grow up," said Tina. When when they when they were in the taxi again, her father smiled. Well, we have one more stop. We have one more stop to make," said he. Said they soon arrived at the police station. <coughs> Sorry, are are we in trouble? Said Tina. Ha ha ha! Laughed the police officer. Not today, Tina. It's Sam's father. It was Sam's father. Would you like to look around the station? He asked. Tina follows Sam's father through the police station. In one room, clothes and equipment hung on the wall. This is our uniform," said Tina. "said Sam's father. We wear strong boots for walking and running, a helmet to protect our head, and a spiker belt for our toes. All these things have a job to do. They keep safe us." Tina enjoyed the tour. Perhaps I could be a police officer instead," she said on the way home. Today was really fun. Thanks, Dad. At that time, Tina asked, asked Tina's mother, "Asked, did you have a good time today?" "Yeah," replied Tina excitedly. We visited the science museum, the hospital, Bell's dad's restaurant, and the police station. I still can't decide on my favorite job: astronaut, doctor, chef, or police officer. Then she whispered to her mother, "You know, I didn't wear my bike helmet at the park yesterday, but now I think that was wrong. It's 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 actually cool to wear pro- protective clothes and equipment." Sunday was another lovely day, and me and Mark wanted to play outside. Can we cycle to the park? They asked. Can Can you Can you go if your sister goes too? Replied their father. Don't I don't mind," said Tina. Their father started to say. First, put your. But Tina stopped him. I know that we need to put on our helmets. Safety is very important. Tina's father smiled. The children cycled to the park. Melissa and Jane were there. Look, Tina is wearing this stupid helmet again," teased Melissa. "Don't you want to be cool, Tina? You look so silly in that thing," said Jane. This time, Tina was angry. Well, astronauts, doctors, chefs, and police officers were protective cold every day," she shouted, "and they don't think it's silly." Oh, are you a police officer now? Teased the girls. Tina was upset. Come on, boys! She called. We are going home. Or, why are we going home? Asked Mark as they cycled away from the park. It's not fair. Are those mean guys really your fans? Asked Dandy. They aren't my friends anymore," T- said Tina angrily. Back at home, Tina saw her parents and started to cry. She told about Melissa and Jane. "I'm proud of you," said her father. "You did the right thing." The next day, Mr. Smith had some bad news to report. I'm sorry that Melissa is in hospital. She told the class. Everyone was shocked. Mr. Smith explained. She had an accident at the park yesterday. She fell off her bike and hit her head. 
Unfortunately, she wasn't wearing a helmet to protect her head. Will she be okay? asked Ben. The doctor thinks so, replied Mr. Smith. Tina looked at Jane, but Jane did not look up. Sam raised his hand. I've got an idea, she said. Can we make a get well curse for Melissa? And that's an excellent idea, replied Mr. Smith. The class began making the cards and writing fearful messages to Melissa. When they were ready, Mr. Smith said, Now I'd like one student to help me deliver deliver the cards to Melissa in hospital at lunchtime. Please don't ping me, thought Tina. I chose Tina, said Mr. Smith. At the hospital, Mr. Smith and Tina found Melissa's bed. Melissa was awake, and her mother was with her, too. Around her head was a big bandage. Oh, look who's here, Melissa, said her, said her mother. Thanks for your coming, both of you. How are you feeling, Mr. Smith asked Melissa. My head hurts, she replied quietly. But I was lucky. The, the doctor said I will be okay. I can go home. Um, I can I can go home in a few minutes. At first, Tina did not know what to say to her cousin. Then she remembered the cards and handed, handed Melissa the big pile. The class made this for you, she said. Wow, that's so kind, replied Melissa. There was a long silence, and then Melissa said quietly, You are right. It's, too, it's smart to wear a helmet. We teased you, and I'm really sorry about that, Tina smiled. You know, that bandage will make your head really messy, she said. Both girls giggled. Then Tina said, Can we be friends again? You bet. You're so cool, laughed Melissa happily. As they left the hospital, Tina said, Mr. Smith, can we have a dressing up day at school? Everybody can pay a little money to a pretty kid. Then we can buy a gift for Melissa. Great idea. What kind of dressing up? Asked, asked Mr. Smith. Why don't we dress up as people with different jobs? Suggested Tina. Sounds good, replied Mr. Smith. So what will you be? Oh, that's easy, said Tina. Um, a police officer, of course. Or maybe a chef. Oh no, a doctor. Or finally, Tina decided to be an astronaut. Her parents helped to her to make the husband costume. First, they covered her blanket helmet, bike helmet, and boots with silver paper. And then Tina's mom found the old orange ski suit. Ah, uh, it's a big bit, but it but it will make a great space suit, she said. Tina made some labels for the suit. Then she, then she and her parents decorated it black tape. Her father took the silver over silver oven gloves from the kitchen and said don't forget your space gloves look at tina she looks like a real little astronaut the dressing day the dressing up day was lots of fun there were firefighters scientists nurses footballers film stars police officers doctors popsters police engineers artists chefs and even a clown! Tina's astronaut costume looked fantastic, too. Mr. Smith gave prizes for the three best costumes. Ben got first prize. He was a firefighter. Um, Tina won second prize for her astro astronaut costume. Jane dressed as a popster and she got third. Third prize. A couple of weeks later, Melissa came back to school. The whole class was excited to happy to see her again. Welcome back, Melissa, said Mr. Smith. We gave a gift for you. Tina and Jane gave her a big scare box. Melissa opened the box and pulled out a shiny purple bike helmet. Wow, thanks everybody. This is so cool, she said. Everybody cheered when Melissa put on the helmet. Class photo, everyone, said Mr. Smith. Smile. Done. Bye.